All right, what's up, guys? It's Austin here from Magic and Gaming, and I am here uh, showing you guys how to crap, how to hack a Pokemon ROM and make a brand new game out of it. Now I've pissed around with this a little while. Um, tried to do it myself. Um, I've done it. Um, you know, I've done it once. Didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Ended up scrapping the project. But um. We are going to try it here, and I invite you, because this will be a long series, um, you'll see go through it, step by step. Um, I invite you guys to do it as well, and then send me your finished product, and then I will play your finished product on YouTube. And, of course, I'll see that you get credit for it. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. The first episode, I will just... Um, go over the tools that you'll need. Um, so yeah, let's get started here. Let let me open up my tools here. Share that up. All right. So first, you're gonna need um, some sort of uh, ROM. Um, basically, it has to be Gen 3 because these are uh, GBA hack tools, not uh, GBC or um, DS hack tools. We might even try a DS hack some point in time um, if I can figure out uh, how to do that as well um, but so you'll need a um, a ROM from Gen 3 or the Gen 1 remakes which I still I still consider Gen 3 um, make sure you make multiple copies of it that, this is a copy of um, the leaf green that we're doing for the channel um, which I should have a new episode of that up soon um, not sure how soon but soon um, and then you'll need a program called Advanced Map. Um, and what this handles is this will handle all your maps. And, um, you know, you can go ahead and edit the maps, um, map structure of the towns, map structure of the... No, I don't want to use Dutch. Um, map structure of the towns, map structure of the, um... Uh, map structure of uh, the, the the routes um, and the mountains and stuff, everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open a ROM. Um, okay, let's go here. Oh, that's not right. That's not where I want to go. I'm mean, I'm stupid. There. And now you'll have all of your map files right here. Well, not here, but there. So let's see here. We'll go to. I'm not sure what map this is, but it's. Oh, this would be Pallet Town's map. Um, the maps were pretty. Uh, strange, but they have strange names. But um, so this is okay. I think you can see what we have here. One Snyder, Pokemon Snyder. Do we have a? I don't think there's a map for the. Oh. It's a little strange. These are all the maps of Pewter City, and okay, that's enough of that. So what we need to do now, I'll figure this stuff out later. Uh, what we need to do now is we need to show you guys. So that would be what we're going to use for the maps. Um, so now we're going to go back to the hack tools, and we'll need something else called advanced text. Now there'll be an I some issues with that, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I'll go ahead and give you a little example here, um, like I did with. Uh, the um, so here you have your controls. Okay. Now we can make some 
there. So you'll see there's all the text you'll need. Um, so let's go about how you get these. Alright, so the first step would be pick your favorite browser. I have Firefox because I really I do enjoy Firefox. Um, and right here I already have the um, the uh, pages up for this. Uh, made sure I was prepared. So I'll go ahead and I'll put the link down in the description for everything you'll need here. This is for advanced maps. Um, to download this you will go ahead and click download file. Um, manual download and then you'll get this and you'll save it with uh, WinRAR um, yeah it's very important you have WinRAR or something like that that way you can get these nice and easy uh, without a whole lot of uh, fuss so you'll go ahead and you'll you know download it open it um, you can see here's everything we have here um, go up you will want to extract that to wherever you want to. I am not going to do this since I already have it. So, and now, then you'll have that. Now we'll have um, the uh, advanced text. I'd figure out what it was. Um, we'll go ahead and play it here, and I'll type this in. Ah. Uh, And then you'll press this download button, and there's that. Then you'll want to open that up, and there's all that stuff. And there's some things that go along with this that I'll show you here in a little, in just a couple seconds. Um, so there's those. I'll put those in the description. And then you will need a ROM. Um, and I will go ahead and see about getting uh, the ROM for you. Um, here we go. Come on, if it wants to work. Oh. <laughs> ah. Cool ROM. I hope they still have it in here. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, so. <laughs> Interesting development. You can't get anything for the Game Boy or anything like that um, from Cool ROM anymore because Nintendo cracked down and um, they cracked down and made them remove it for copyright reasons so um, you can no longer get them there we'll go ahead and we will get them from um, Uh, we'll try this. Um, let's see. Oh, we can get these here. Um, so let's try and download this one here. Um. Okay, that's not what we want. We'll go ahead and download. See, normally what I do is I download it with the ad. That way I don't have the uh, have the uh, whole package installer and stuff like that. Um, you know, for that shit. Um, and then we'll go ahead and open that with uh, WinRAR, and we'll while that's going, I'll um, explain something to you. Suspicious item has been detected. Shut up, Avast. I don't even want to hear it. Shh. Damn it. That fucking. I swear to God. Alright, um, while that's happening, uh, we will go ahead and, uh, it's done, you'll want to do whatever you do with that, um, make a couple copies of it, that way in case something messes up, you still have it, you're not in the dark, um, and all of that. So, what we'll do now is I will show you what could happen when, um, you download advanced maps. Um, what might happen when you download advanced maps is, uh, let me think here. Okay, when you, well, advanced text. 
when you open advanced text, um, it will tell you that one of two files, or both in my case, are missing. Um, comctl32.ocx and comdlg32.ocx, which I have both right here. Um, and the way to fix this is to go on here, we'll go on and you can go ahead and you can search for uh, the file, um, but again you probably won't have to because I'll just put the link up. Um, oops. Um, so then we'll go ahead and I'll show you where to get this at um, OCX dump. It's a nice thing. It's it's easy. Now I want to go with either of these uh, because these will download um, applications that you really don't want um, stuff like that. All you want is the file. So you can go ahead and click here to download that. Um, you open it up now. Here you have to do, depending on whether you have um, a 32-bit OS operating system or a um, 64-bit operating system, this will differ for you. Um, here's how you figure out which one you have. Um, you can go in here. Um, actually, here I'll open up another one. Um, you can go to your um, file explorer, or you could just go through the start menu. Um, and you can click on computer, click on properties and it should show right down here somewhere um, where mine, 6 bit, yours might be 32 bit, whichever okay so if you have 64 like me um, where you'll want to copy this to is um, this location right here so you want to go to your computer to your C drive or whichever you have your uh, hard drive on most times a C drive some people have it a little different and you know you never know um, <clears throat> you want to go to uh, Windows, and you'll want to go to um, Shut Up a Vast. I don't want to hear it. Um, oops, I passed it already. Uh, SysFile64, and you'll want to um, put it in here. Okay, and then what you'll want to do is, since just because you put that, oh, well, let me show you whether if you have. Uh, all right, so if you have a 32-bit OS. <clears throat> you'll want to put it in the system32 file uh, so just because you put it in there does not mean it's going it's installed so you have to install these so what you want to do is you want to go into that same folder and search for CMD which will be your command prompt um, now I know this sometimes it's a little oh and uh, before I forget, that's what I screwed up on. I um, have to run it as administrator. So make sure you do that. And now, since we're at that here, we want to go to. Um, we want to type this in. Reg SVR32 so with a space C. Um, Windows. Um, syswow64 slash comctl32.ocx okay so if it's that way um, you'll want to make sure you have that there um, and obviously, if you have a 32-bit, it would just be, instead of syswow64, it would be system32. Um, and then you'll hit enter. And it will register it. So, now, there's also another one you could run into. You could run into com... Com... Let me think. Comdlg32. And so then we'll go ahead and
we'll go ahead and I'll put also put the download link in for this one. Um, again, you want to zip version. Um, open it up. Um, extract it to the same uh, folder you extracted the um, comctl32 to, and then you go back into command prompt. And I would keep command prompt up at this point. That way it makes it a little easier. Because um, then all you have to do is hit the up arrow um, and and then you just want to change it to comdlg 32.ocx and hit enter and there you have that in there now you should be able to open up advanced text okay so I hope this helped guys um, next episode we will be starting the uh, ROM hacking adventure um, we'll start with some basic maps and stuff like that so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, this is Austin from Magic and Gaming signing out see you all next time peace out guys